Come on, come on, come on! Why is this thing going? Dang it! Oh, oh, this is an RC boat, not an RC monster truck. Oh, I think this thing belongs in water. My bad, Rolf, fam. Today we're actually gonna be making a DIY RC boat. Now, all we really have to do is attach a fishing rod to this little boat, and we gotta catch some massive fish. So, first thing we're gonna do is actually turn the boat on. Obviously, you have to charge this thing, so this is my first time testing it out. And if this thing doesn't work, then there's no point in making a DIY, so let's test the boat out first. To the predator pond! This pond right here is actually filled with a bunch of massive predators from all around the world. So come on, we're gonna put this in here with baby jaws right there. Now, I guess whenever we're actually using this little toy boat, I guess if we press this button, it's gonna go straight. Here we go. Oh, 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 there it goes. There it goes. And then this is how you go right, this is how you go left. So look at the bass on it. Look at the bat, they're like, what the heck is that thing? Oh, that's pretty sick. I'm bringing it back, come on. Oh, oh, I crashed. Oh, I definitely think the RC boat worked. That is a massive dub in the chat. So honestly, what we're gonna do today, we have to turn this RC boat into an RC DIY fishing boat to help catch massive baits for all of the animals at the Raw Fam, but if we catch something massive, we could always bring that animal back and put it in the predator pond and keep it as our very own pet. I'm basically like the real life Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. All right, let me just test the boat out one time. We're gonna do a little circle for good luck. <laughs> Come to daddy. Now remember Raw Fam, this is like a $29 boat. We're balling on a budget and you guys gotta remember, this this thing could flip, it can go completely wrong, a shark can come up and completely cut the boat in half. So if the DIY fails and we lose the boat forever, just remember, it's a challenge for a reason. And if it doesn't work, we need to set up like, like a punishment. Jack, what is today's punishment? I think you should jump in the predator pond. No! Today's punishment, we're gonna be jumping inside of the predator pond with all of the massive predators. So if I'm not careful and I don't win the challenge, I will definitely lose a finger. And we don't want that to happen, so let's make this thing. Step one for building our DIY RC fishing boat. We obviously went to Walmart and we bought a fishing rod. Now, if we try and put the entire rod onto our boat, it would get way too heavy and 100% this thing would end up like the Titanic. No! Explosion. <laughs> we actually have to cut this rod in half. Yeah, no, this is an ugly stick. Oh crap, these things do not break easy. Time for the Dremel. Oh. Oh crap. <laughs> These Dremels do not mess around, so make sure you wear eye protection. I got my Kosas on for a reason. So what I was actually thinking, we completely cut off the rod and reel portion of this, so. <laughs> no, my rod. <laughs> now, we honestly do not need this. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bill. He does not like me. Now, we have a little ugly stick rod that I, I guess we gotta disassemble, de I, I guess. So we're just going to. Perfect. And for a good old fashioned $10 bill, we have a rod. Or we, we have half a rod, right? We're actually gonna take the rod and we're gonna somehow put it right here so that whenever we go fish, we actually have a fishing rod attached to the boat. But the most important thing is that it's lightweight, compact, and it's ready to catch a massive fish. All right, so we have our Dremel right here, and I'm thinking that if we go right around the middle, I have this little Sharpie, if we go right around here, the mechanics for this build are actually right here. If I actually open up our RC build right here, we can actually probably be safe if we just drill right here. And these right here are all the mechanics and all the wiring, so if we touch any of this, we could get electrocuted, so just be careful and make sure you don't touch anything down there. All right, remember now, we actually have to put this in on an angle, so if we drill straight down, it will not go in nice and flush. We actually have to drill into the boat. Now that there's a little groove, we're gonna put it on an angle. If you guys look, there's an angle there so that our rod can slide right into place. So the boat is actually perfect and it's ready to rock, but there's a couple adjustments I want to make. As you guys can see, the rod could kind of bounce around everywhere. And if I glue it here, then it could kind of get like knocked out of place if we hook a really big fish. We're actually gonna take the top off of the boat. There's two screws right here that holds this little uh, T-top into place where we have our little surfboards and all of our little wakeboards that are, you know, holding it on. And if we take this off for a second, we can actually put the rod and reel under and it'll keep everything very sturdy. Let's do that right now. All right, and this should come right off, just like I thought. That's perfect. 
Now all we have to do is put our little rod into place like that. Obviously grab our little uh, T-top, put it back into place just like that. Now that our little rod is actually in, it's time to re-screw in our T-top. So our RC fishing boat is almost done. We have our obviously our little rod right here that's connected with the T-top right here. And then this is our rod going out the back. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do all that later. But first, let's glue this thing into place so that our fishing rod does not go you know, into the ocean. We have our hot glue gun right here. Be very careful, guys. And we just need to glue this thing in. And I'll just hold this in place for a little bit. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably take really small zip ties and zip tie the rod into place as well on top of gluing it. There's our zip tie. Alright guys, so the top of our DIY fishing boat is done. All we got to do is attach some line here. And now honestly guys, there's just one test. We got to turn this thing back on right there. And we got to see if we've messed up any of the components, drilling stuff, and see if it's still waterproof. So let's go test her again. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, that's so cool. Come here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Guys, our fishing boat is ready to rock. Now all we have to do is attach some fishing line, a bobber, get some bait, and we're ready to fish. So of course, guys, we have a green boat, and we all know what that means. We must have green fishing line. Guys, everything's green today. <laughs> so our boat's here, and then this right here is green fishing line. We actually have to attach this to our boat so we can catch, hopefully, a green monster fish. So this is our green line. We're gonna take our fishing line and go all the way down here and tie it right here. And then cut the fishing line. Mm. Tastes fishy. <laughs> so our fishing line is now attached to the green bow. Everything is green. And if you guys look at the line. Oh, oh, we might have one. Oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> I got one. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly how it should happen. But hopefully with a big fish the size of Jack. That'd be pretty lit, right? That'd be great. <laughs> so guys, I have one more surprise for you guys. We have a green bobber. So we need to add the bobber. Okay, so we're going to have the boat here. And it's going to go probably... A little bit more, a little bit more, right about here. Now the bobber is going to make sure that we stay clear of all the weeds at all of our fishing spots. We don't want to lose the boat. That's our green bobber. We're going to put the bobber on just like that. We're going to have some live bait on this thing and boom, boom, boom. All right, can we get a, a little test trial of how the heck this thing's going to work? So we have our fishing line equipped with a little bobber and this is our fishing rod on our RC fishing boat right here. We have our little raw fishing bucket right here and inside is a yummy treat. Let me grab Grab this little booger. Here we go. Oh crap. So this right here is one of the baits that we caught in yesterday's DIY and we're gonna tie this thing on. Perfect little knot. So this is our first time testing it out. This right here is our RC fishing trump attached with our fishing rod. We got the line, the bobber, and our yummy treat. Oh Prime! We're gonna put the boat in right there. Uh oh, hopefully Prime doesn't attack the boat. Look at this. Now once I put this bobber, oh Prime already sees you. Ready? Uh oh. Oh, 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 no, he sunk the boat, sunk the boat. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 bribe, bribe, bribe. Relax. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Relax. Okay, relax, guys. Oh, oh, relax, relax. So I think the RC boat worked, but I just think Prime's a little too big for this test experiment. We might need a rod to give a little bit of drag for these guys. And I think the green and orange bobber's pissing them off. Let me see. Ah! Oh, definitely the bobber. They do not like this green bobber. I think it's the green line and the green bobber that really threw them off. So the RC fishing boat right here obviously worked. So let's get out of here, get over to the fishing spot and hopefully catch something massive to bring back to these guys. And hopefully I could feed them just like this. Hoo ah! <laughs> hopefully this time it just won't be a bobber. Come on, let's go fishing. Yeah, this is not good. Look at all the water that was in the boat. All right, fingers crossed that this thing works once we get back to the fishing spot. So in the last DIY video that we actually did, we actually caught a bunch of little bluegills and bait fish. We're actually going to be using them in today's build. Come here, right here. It's not too hard to get them. These are perfect little baits. And that should definitely be enough to catch something. So we got the bait. Now it's time to go to the spot and catch some fish. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, this is our RC fishing boat with an RC remote control right there. We got our bobber and we got a hook somewhere down there. And uh, I think we're pretty much ready to fish, but we gotta put a bait on. So I'm actually gonna go inside the water right here, put the boat out there. 
That's ready to go. Oh crap. Oh, see how fish just jumped. Now, gotta get a bait right here. And these right here are all the baits that we caught in yesterday's video. Right there, beautiful. Okay, we need to just put this right through one of the lips right there. Now, it's very, very windy here, so we have to make sure that the RC boat goes all the way out to the middle of the lake, so go that way, go on. All right, there it goes. All right, guys, so we're gonna make sure that we pay attention to that bobber. There's a lot of largemouth bass out here right now. We just went through winter, so that means these fish are gonna be all over beds here, and who freaking knows? There could be a 10 pounder right underneath our bait. Remember, elephants eat peanuts, and uh, you just gotta watch that bobber right there. So there's a lot of wind here, guys, and we need to make sure, is that an alligator all the way out there? Can you see that? See all those baits going crazy right there? Hold on, can I take the boat over there? All right, we're gonna let the little boat. See the alligator coming towards us? I think the alligator thinks that our boat is another alligator. You have to go near the alligator because that's where all the fish are. They're hunting fish as well. <laughs> Look at him, he's sneaking up on it. All right guys, I literally just drove the boat over. This alligator is continuously following the boat. Oh, he just went under. So I'm just trying to bring the boat back over here. Oh, look, he's right there. I'm gonna bring the boat over to him. I'll bring the boat right over to him. Wait, what the heck? Wait, look, oh, it's on, it's on. Wait, no, oh crap. Oh, the gator just spooked, the gator just spooked. The boat is upside down. Oh no, oh, this thing's getting wrecked, come on. Oh, the gator's right there. It, the gator's under the fish. I just flipped the boat back over. I have to back down on the fish because he will snap the line. Yeah, that fish is going right now. Screw it, I'm just gonna bring it in right now. Fortune him in. Oh, come on. Come on, don't flip the boat again. Oh, he's right there. I see the fish, he's up on top. Oh, he flipped the boat again. Dang it. Oh, come on. Come on, bring it in. Come on. Come on. Bro, look at that. That is a nice size largemouth bass. Look at that, bro. So we just caught a beautiful largemouth bass on the RC boat right here. It's almost as big as the entire RC boat right there. Is that a challenge accomplished? Of course, it was pretty epic. <laughs> pretty sick so we're obviously gonna release this little bass off lost the vago here you go all right guys and i just want to show you guys let me see this he is as big as the rc boat like that is crazy bro he's literally almost as big as the entire boat I man is a perfect little fish like he could literally fit inside of the boat i mean <laughs> that that's a haul that looks like a big bluefin tuna on the back of the boat bro and did you guys see the gator Bro, there was a gator right behind it. The gator's head popped up and he was right behind that RC boat and he was trying to bite it for sure. So we just caught an epic fish on the RC fishing boat, bro. The freaking thing fell way over there. The gator's actually right there, by the way. The gator's still right there stalking us because I think if that gator sees us catch something, Yummy, yummy, yummy for his little gator tummy. He's gonna swim over here. He's gonna want a little piece of Jack. But all right guys, so we're gonna actually bait up again and hopefully, fingers crossed, we catch something yummy for uh, Prime's tummy, not the gator. So guys, I mean, honestly, we're gonna move down a little bit this way because we already tried that other area. It was good, but there's a freaking alligator over there. So I think we should probably move this way just a little bit. Oh, there's actually a nice sized bass right there on a bed. Like I was trying to tell you guys before, there's nice fish over here. Put that right there. Jack, grab me a baby bait. Perfect. And I'm just gonna put that right in his right in his mouth right there. And we're gonna send this thing across the lake. Now we're actually gonna let this boat completely drift down the canal. So we're actually just gonna walk with the boat all the way down the canal. Whenever the alligator was there. Frank, Frank, I think it's down. No, it isn't. Oh, wait, there's something on there though. No, it, it definitely tilted like there's something. It's either really big or really small. It's definitely dragging something, right? Yeah, for is sure. There, is it a bunch of weeds? What is it? I don't think I see something. Oh, there's something on there. Oh, there's a bass, there's a bass. Grab the remote, I'm on. Nice. He just got caught up in some of the weeds. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. And guys, I think that this little fish right here is actually perfect to bring back to uh my red tails, or maybe even speed and everything. This is clearly smaller than the boat. So uh, let's grab the bucket. You got the bucket right here? This is for science. Will Prime eat a baby bass? 
and we have an, a, a bigger cooler back of the truck so let's go put them over there and uh, see what the heck we got all right guys so the RC boat was a success Jack give me some bro so we just got back to the raw fam we have our little RC truck right here and we have our little largemouth bass in here prime knows what's about to happen prime knows every time I come over and I turn the water off to his pond he knows that something's about to happen ready three two one let's see what happens when a largemouth meets another largemouth ready come on prime oh prime prime welcome to the pond buddy welcome to the pond buddy welcome to the pond buddy uh-oh uh-oh oh crap oh crap oh crap oh welcome well oh he prime still thinks he's over there prime just wants a head first shot uh-oh oh oh prime got the whole thing prime got the whole thing it's gonna happen right now prime's just gonna act like he's not doing anything head first right down the gullet oh crap right now oh that's it that's it i told you head first he'll get head first prime just swallowed that fish whole prime just swallowed that whole thing head first he's done raw fam oh my goodness oh my goodness prime's eat look prime's eating that thing whole Look at this. Prime just ate that bass whole. Look at that. Zoom in on him. Prime just ate that bass whole. That thing is gone right down the gullet. Now let's see what happens because I've always wanted to test the limits of Prime and I really want to see if Prime is actually able to eat this or if his appetite is bigger than his mouth or his stomach. That bass is a savage no matter what. No matter what happens, that bass is a savage. And honestly guys, I thought that Prime could eat something this big. That's why I attempted this. But bro, who freaking knows? This fish is insane. All right, while Prime is digesting that, we have a couple leftover baits right below us. And bro, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. You would, thi you would think, look, Prime's over here trying to eat another bait. Look, Prime wants another bait. He wants to stick another bait inside of his mouth. And this is like a, this is like a peanut to these guys. They are so big. Look at that. Boom. 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 <laughs> wow, we're all fam. All right, guys. So Prime just came up and absolutely destroyed the fish that we caught on the RC fishing boat. We're all fam. That's freaking epic. If you guys think that this is crazy and that Prime is a freaking savage, make sure you guys like today's video. If we get, I don't know, 10,000 likes, we'll continue this video and see if we can catch like a mahi mahi or something cool on an RC fishing boat. We'll just continue these little DIYs because you guys seem to be loving this, but Prime's over there completely just being a savage. So I, I don't know what to say. I think it's about time to wrap up this video. I just have to pay really close attention to Prime right now. And if, if Prime cannot swallow that fish, we're gonna have to actually scoop her up and, and pull that out of her mouth. It might be just a little bit too big, but if you guys want to see the continuation of this, just make sure you guys like the video. But I love you all fam. And I think it's about time to wrap this video up. I love you all fam and I'll see you later. Oh crap, Prime.